hi everyone welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching this video I'm gonna share with you the words of encouragement for today and the title is why God test our faith okay why God test our faith test us testing okay trials and we have the base of our study today do you remember the life of Abraham the life of Moses you see Abraham he was a loyal and faithful man of God but is still God testing his faith okay and we should know how why God wants to test our faith okay because when you say i love god it's very easy to say something okay from words i love you so much or i love god so much and god wants to test by our actions not only in words okay when we ask question to people do you have faith in God? Yes, I have faith in God. It's easy to answer that question, right? And do you love God? Yes, it's easy to say, I love God. And do you love Jesus? It's easy to say, I love Jesus. But how can you prove that, that you love God in your life? So let's see how. God does sometimes test our faith by letting hard times happen to us. Okay? If so, why does he do it? Does he already know already or not our faith is genuine? Okay. All right, we'll see. The answer is here. Sometimes God does test our faith just he tested the faith of the ancient Israelites by allowing them to go through hard times in the wilderness as I have mentioned in the day of Moses and Abraham okay in order to know what was in your heart in Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 2 okay remember if our faith is weak it may not be obvious when life is going smoothly and we are not challenged in any way right but when hard times come a weak faith will be rebuilt for what is really is be revealed for what is really is shallow and unable to help us through the life's difficulties it may be anything an unexpected illness, the death of a loved ones, a loss of our job, or even a friend who turns against us. But when hard times happen, the nature of our faith will be revealed. And even in this situation, in this normal life, it's up. We are now, we are walking on the pandemic uh, situation into the whole world so this is also one of a test of our faith testing of our faith okay when the hard times come and in this situation of normal new normal do you ever think that God doesn't love us or do you think that God is not working in us do you think that do you ever think about giving up on your faith okay when you're facing in these hard times brothers and sisters God he's testing our faith we he already know that we have faith but how we prove our faith to God by facing hard times in this daily life do you ever think that you give it up or you do something uh, 
ungraceful to yourself during the hard times? No, okay? If you have faith in God, you have to be still by faith and always praising God and always trusting God and always praising God during the hard times and always in a prayer and faith. Don't let your heart troubled and don't let your heart be changed by the seasons of the world. The seasons of the world may change, but the heart of God for you never changes. The promise of God in your life never changes. No one can take away your blessings in your in God from God. That's only thing we know is ourselves when we let go from the hands of god and then we gonna lose our grace our salvation our gift our promise the promise of god to us our blessings from god so god wants us to test how we are faithful to god during the hard times of life right yes in the wilderness we can go through in the bible in the life of abraham during the hard times in the the, the wilderness you know all those israelites there all there were complaining but they don't almost have uh food to eat but god always providing their food in every day but people doesn't content it There is no contentment in their heart. They're always complaining. Complaining here, complaining there. They get angry to oh, Moses, you know, uh, and so on and so forth. We can go through, you can read the life in Genesis, in Abraham, Deuteronomy, okay? So, but God doesn't test us because He doesn't know how strong we are. Okay? Instead, He tests us because we don't know how strong we are and we'll only realize it when times of testing come, the Psalms played. You know, I really blessed the uh, life of King David. You know, in Psalms chapter 139 verse 23 says here search me O God and know my heart test me and know my anxious thoughts instead of complaining we have to pray and ask God search my heart O God test me if you can see any wicked sin in me Lord, cleanse me from all unrighteousness and help me to grow and help me to be strong in faith so I can walk through your will, your perfect will in my life. Okay? We have to give everything to God. Alright? None of us like to go through hard times. Okay? And God is not necessarily behind them. Even if He does allow them, but God can use them to show us our weaknesses. That's why um, Paul says that my weaknesses is turns into blessing. Amen? Our weaknesses, when we walk our faith in God, it turns to blessing. Amen? So we need to ask God, to help our faith to grow testing should make us spiritually stronger okay when you are now facing facing a hard times right now and test uh, testing of your faith that means god wants you to grow spiritually more stronger and stronger and it will 
us a turn it over to God. The Bible says, consider it pure joy. Okay, brothers, whenever you face trials, so that you may be mature and complete. In James chapter 1, verse 2 and 4. Amen. So, every trials in our life, we have to consider them as a joy. Okay? As a joy and pure and for the glory of God. During the hard times, we have to praise God. Okay? Rejoice in the Lord always. Amen? When we rejoice in the Lord always during, even in the deep troubles, deep trials in our life, God will gonna overwhelm us. Okay? So, God, He, he will see us through. Alright? Take heart, my brothers and sisters. Don't give up. Stay still in the faith of God. Because God knows us everything. God knows us very well. We have to stand. Never let go from the hands of God. Amen. Praise God. And thank you for watching. Keep sharing this video. Thank you so much.